Hi, this video is going to take you through how you can create a process map using Microsoft Visio. So here I've opened up Visio and the first thing you'll see is uh, some options for different types of processes, networks or flowcharts. And to create a simple process map, the best one to use is the basic flowchart. So if you click on that, this opens up Visio in the basic flowchart mode. You'll see on the left hand side you've got a few different options such as the process option, decision, start and end and the on-page reference for jumping between pages. Now the first thing I'd recommend you did is to save the file. So go to file, select save, choose an area to save the file and give it a name. Once you've done that, click save. So you're now ready to start constructing your process map. So you can come across to here and you just need to left click and drag whichever of these objects you wish to use. So for start and end, you can just left click and drag it onto, onto the screen. I can zoom into this page if I wish just by coming to the bottom right and clicking on the plus. This just allows me to get in a little bit closer if I'm adding text or, or more objects. So once I've added that I can double click to get inside the object and I can type to add text. Once I've done that, if I wish to add another object, if I move my cursor around here you'll see these arrows appear and you'll see I can then select one of these objects. So you've got process and decision, a sub-process and the start and end op options. So if I select a process, you'll see that's automatically added in. I can then select further processes or objects if I wish, just by using these arrows. Very quickly you can make up your process map. And again, for all these objects, it's just a case of clicking in and typing within them. And by doing this, you get the same options as you'll get with Microsoft Word when you use shapes and these different things. So if I wish to click in, highlight the text and increase its size, I can. And you've got options for fonts, bold and make, changing the color of the text. I wish I can select the boxes and create a fill and line colour on them. So I could use the fill option to give it some colour. If you're using text, try and keep a lighter colour in use. And I can also change the line colour too. Something you might wish to add is arrows onto each of the connector lines. So if I click one of the lines, I can come up to line and come down to arrows and select an arrow option from the list. If you have uh, two boxes or objects you wish to connect like this, you can use the connector tool. If I click onto there, now I can click onto the box and if you see the points on the box you can connect these up. So if I click onto here and drag, I can then take this up to the point on the end box there and then release my left click and that connects the two up. I can then go to line, arrows, and select an arrow to be on that line. So once you've completed it, always remember to click the save option. For ways to export the process map, see the next video.